Now moving along to tool number six, we have the headbutt. The headbutt is not like you see in the movies. You're not butting head to head like two elephant seals. The headbutt is the top of your head to your opponent's face. At this point, I want to just reiterate one more time why Bruce stressed these particular tools, why he stressed this particular range. Could you imagine punching a six foot five large man in the face and getting some kind of reaction? It just doesn't work, especially if he's bent on your destruction. But if you slam the top of your head into his face, then your knee into his groin, that sort of makes size and strength moot. And this is what we're trying to do. So again, with the headbutt, it's the top of your head to the opponent's face. When you practice, you can't practice like this because you're looking at what you're doing. So it can't be the top of your head. So you have to put your chin down to your chest and use your legs to headbutt with. It's almost like you have, you're a bull and you're bucking at the opponent's face. And when you have the opponent in front of you, you're actually going to be grabbing the back of his neck and pulling his face into the top of your head. For a smaller man to do this on a larger man is conceivable. For a smaller man to punch a larger man is not. That's why they have weight divisions. So when we train with a partner, okay, Rich. Basically, what we want to do with a partner is just get the feel of training. So the, you have to tell your partner right away to tighten up his neck first. If he tightens up his neck so there's no chance of colliding. When he's tightens up his neck, boom, that's what you're doing. Slowly, boom, this is the headbutt. I am taking my head, now I'm going to pull it over the shoulder just so you can see the velocity. I'm taking my hands and I'm pulling his head. This would be into my face, but it's over the top of the shoulder. Now you tell your person, stiffen up the neck, and then boom, you do it right there. And we're not trying to put the tools together quite now, but if we were, boom, it would look something like that. That's when you start putting them together. That'll be later on in the tape. So, again, just to reiterate, you bend the knees, put your chin down, and you're pulling your opponent's face to your head. Now, moving along to the headbutt. I've never really seen any good equipment on the headbutt, so what we like to use is a motorcycle helmet. Again, you're going to see us do this in scenarios in which you get to see combinations. Okay? But for now, the purpose of the equipment training is to get you to feel some sort of substance behind what you're hitting as opposed to just doing it in the air. So this is sort of the next stage onto the progression of finally getting you combative. You have to understand that things have to be developed in a progression. Okay, Rich? So all I'm really going to have Rich do in this particular take is just have him stand in front of me and I'm going to get a feel for the headbutt. All I'm going to do is just, just kind of get that feel, change it from different angles and see the feel that I have. If it's a knee here, or boom, and then I combine it with the headbutt. So I just want you to know and feel what part of the head you're hitting with. It looks a little dangerous in the beginning. You might say, well, geez, doesn't that hurt your head? But it doesn't hurt your head as much as what it does to his face, and that's what we're looking at is that ratio. So let's give it a try. <laughs> 